Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And you have pre-ordered our... Da, da, <laughs> our book. So we are so excited to give you a recipe that actually didn't make it in the book. What's the title of the book? Without reading. We can't get the subtitle right. Be a plant-based woman warrior. Live... What? Fierce. I know, but live fierce. Stay strong. Bold. <laughs> Eat delicious. <laughs> oh. We love our subtitle. Live fierce. Stay bold. <laughs> Eat delicious. Okay. Wait. So we're going to tell you a recipe that didn't make Wait. it. What I love is eat delicious that's yes. what i really love and that's what we're going to do we have a recipe that didn't i'm going to get this out of the way we have a recipe that didn't make it in the book that we're giving you as bonus content <laughs> and this recipe i have to tell you is <coughs> amazingly good so good that the other day when jane and brian were out of town i came over because i was bringing in their mail and i went in the refrigerator and I, they had, I knew she'd had it the night before, and I was hoping. So there I had a little bit of part of it and a little bit of another part of it right out of their refrigerator. You didn't even know. Oh, okay. so good. Clever move. Okay, so the first thing we do in this, and you guys have the PDF, um, which is part of this video. So what we're going to do first is make the tofu, and you take your block of tofu, and you cut it into just like this. The reason I'm saying that is because we already pre-made it so that the video would be quickly We're done. You take their tofu, slice it. Actually, let's open this up. Can you cut it over, over there? Oh, no, let's just show them how it's done. I know, but open this over there in the, in the sink. Our sink, cut, it, cut that open, let it drain. Um, we have the tofu, we love tofu, but um, on our parchment line pan, we um, take, take a parchment line pan, and the tofu is, is we're gonna just we're gonna do the whole darn thing. Okay, bring it on over. Um, I'm feeling a little reluctant because my daughter-in-law just sliced off the end of her <laughs> finger opening tofu. So oh, that's right. That's so right. I don't. I'm scared now to open the oh, tofu. Okay. So what we do is well, the tofu is gonna have um, it's gonna be baked with tamari. So I like to drizzle a little bit of tamari in the pan wherever the tofu is gonna go. And so this um, gets the bottom of the tofu once Anne gets the tofu open. <laughs> Here, Jane, just, just cut it open. Um, so we just cut it open. And sorry we're off camera right now. Because um, I'm, I'm take scared the of the tofu now. Take, take this uh, and just slice it into slabs and put it on top of the tamari and then we'll drizzle a little bit of tamari on top of it once it's down. So it's just like a deck of cards and you make sure you get some tamari on the bottom of it so it has a little bit of flavor that gets baked into it. Make sure you get some tamari on there. And um, there we go. And then, and then when you get, once you get hey, this all oh. on here, once you get them all on here, you take the tamari and give it a little bit of drizzle on top. And put it in the oven at 350, or sorry, 375, and um, gonna bake it for like 20 or 30 minutes until it wait, gets wait, the wait. texture that you want. This guy got, didn't get anything on its top. She got plenty. <laughs> and what it looks like when you're done is this. We, we made it ahead of time, so it'll be ready to go. It looks like this, just baked um, like a deck of cards of tofu. Let's go ahead and bake that perfect. Thank you. Um, so this is the first part of the recipe, having just slabs of tofu ready to go. And that's really easy to do. It, yeah, that was. And it tastes good cold in the refrigerator the next day if you happen to <laughs> when be no sneaking one's around in. <laughs> you sneak in. Okay, the next part of it is going to be the smoked, the plant-based smoked gouda, which um, takes uh, cashews. And if you don't have cashews, you can use cannellini beans. It makes a much less um, sort of. Hold on one second. Um, much less of a, uh, what do you call it? Like Delicious. A, yeah, but if you have heart disease, please don't use cashews. Go ahead and use cannellini beans. All right, hold on one sec. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in a sec. So the, the, the cashews are soaked either overnight or for, you know, 15, 20 minutes ahead of time because you want them to be a little bit softer. Um, it just makes for a, you know, 
creamier plant-based smoked gouda. I only soaked mine head here for like 15 minutes because I want to be able to adjust to the moisture amount for those of you who are cooking it like we are right here on time. You didn't do it the night before. Um, so I'm going to drain some of this water off of it here in case we need it. Um, we could have just used regular water from this tap, but you know, it might have some little cashew dust on it. That's good. <laughs> okay. So these in these go are one cup of soaked cashews. Um, can you put it in the sink? Thank you. And next thing we need to go in here is one third cup of nutritional yeast. One third cup of nutritional yeast. Thank you. And then one teaspoon of, actually, I'm going to go, I always list things and I apologize. I list things off in the moist, the wet things, and then I do the dry things, and I am so mad I have to clean this out. So I'm going to jump ahead of our, of our, in the order here that we have it. I'm going to go to the one teaspoon of onion powder before I do the one teaspoon of the vegan, oh. how do you say, how do you say the? Worcestershire. Okay. I don't know why I can't say that. So what, oh, 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 it doesn't fit. So one teaspoon of onion powder. It's going to be a little all over the place here. Sorry. And here's a little bit. One teaspoon onion powder, garlic powder, one of each. Onion powder, garlic powder just make things so tasty in my mind. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my liquids one. So I'm going to go to the one teaspoon of liquid smoke. And liquid smoke is so cool. It's just water that's been run over a fire. So one teaspoon of liquid smoke. This makes it have the smoked Gouda taste. And you're being amazing with the lids. Thank you. <laughs> I am the lid putter on her. The plant-based woman warrior of lids. All right, here, oh, one teaspoon of, this is tamari, and one teaspoon of vegan, don't say it. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I was going to, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I don't know why I get too complicated by it. All right, um, and then we have an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. Oh, my cayenne powder. Uh, um, one eighth of a teaspoon, so that's a, it's a half of my quarter here. Half, look at here, this thing. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get half of the quarter cup. There we go. You want cayenne? Yeah, do I have cayenne back there? I may have, I may have put it down here. Yep, yeah, that's our oh. cayenne. Cayenne pepper, we don't use a lot of it. I think I've had this for like... It's looking old. Well, it doesn't look so bad. It's just been around since maybe pre.com, but... Um, Jane. Uh, quarter cup of that, or not a quarter cup, a quarter teaspoon, oh my gosh, a quarter cup of cayenne. Fire! Ah. Okay, so now we take this and we're going to have about, it says two to four tablespoons of water. I bet we're going to be more on the four tablespoons because I just soaked these cashews um, right before. So I'm going to put, you know, definitely two in right now but I'm sure I'm going to use more, maybe even more than that. And I'm, I'm glad we're doing it live here with you. Jane, may I start the buns? You know what? Yes. And I, we have two different things. We have um, a company called Sammy's Bakery, which has a millet and flax gluten-free bun. And we have um, our, we like this Silver Mills bread. Or, uh, or uh, any of the Ezekiel breads. So we're toast the bread and we're making the Gouda. All right, I'm going to stop it and uh, do a little, get the sides tamed here, because all kinds of good stuff goes flying up on the sides. You know, all the, all the cloves or something just goes up to the sides, and you want to get all that good flavor in. And right now, I have no sense of the texture yet. It looks to me like it might be a little on the dry side, because it's kind of moving in a clump. I'm actually going to... I can top feed a few more tablespoons. One, two, oh, shoot. Part of that one went down on the side. I'm aiming down this right, the shoot, the shoot. Okay. Thank you for toasting. If you don't want to toast your buns, you don't have to. Oh, but toast it, it makes such a difference to toast buns or toast bread. Yes, and Anne's toasty, crispy queen. So I've grown up around that and I really appreciate a toasted a toasted side to a sandwich or a, a bun. Um, okay, this looks good. Don't you think that looks like 
if you kind of want this to be the texture of hummus, you know, it's spreadable, but it has a little bit of a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of body to it. Some hummuses are really runny. Some hummuses are so thick. So kind of whatever you're comfortable with. All right, let me see. Does that look good? Mm -hmm. That look pretty good. What do you think, Wade? Can you see that? Mm-hmm. It looks like it'll be spreadable. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. So we added um, about four tablespoons, and I dripped one into the side of my thing, so it looked like I was five. So I'll uh, say quarter cup ish of water. We added to that. Again, if you'd soaked it overnight, it may have been like two to three tablespoons. Um, and I was right. I should have been toasting the buns a little earlier. What do you mean? They aren't ready yet. Oh, well, in the meantime, let us say we just got our first copies of the book and we've been looking through them and we are so excited about this book. It has, it has a, like a, it's kind of feminine or what, what am I trying to say? It's, it's got, got lots of flowers in it. No, well, <laughs> it's, it, we made, we took the photos in May. In, we live in Cleveland, Ohio. And it's May now, and, and all the same flowers are out. Yeah, it was a year ago. It was a full year ago. And we had the most amazing photographer. Yes, Karen was Karen. amazing, and um, Karen McKenna. But the the flowers were feminine. Like so, uh, Some of our cookbooks have been like fighting heart disease and working with Rip, my brother, who's a firefighter. But this got to be us, and it got to be sort of our, our own little touches and flares and, and shazam and cha-cha. So we, we identify with it. All right, speaking with identify with it, I'm identifying with my bread no matter how well it's toasted right now. <laughs> oh, she did, um, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna start making mine right now. Okay, so we're gonna add this Gouda to both sides. Here, you go ahead and add yours, I'll turn the toaster off. And what are, you <laughs> what are you doing? It gets she, stuck <laughs> in the just, blade. Don't I mean. here. Don't here. Don't use the. Don't use. Don't put it on the blade. As you take it out of your Cuisinart, don't use it on the. Put it on the blade. Here, I've got way too much on mine. You want some of mine? Oh, uh, yeah, how can you have too much? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. All right, so. On here, you can put whatever veggies you want. We have things that we like. We love sliced tomato. We love avocado. We love arugula. And you can use spinach or... Oh, and, and, and sprouts. I forgot my bring my sprouts. Okay. This would be great in here. Oh, sprouts would be awesome. Um, awesome. Well, I don't know. Again, our, um, our recipe here kind of just says to assemble it however you wish. So I'm going to put... I'm gonna put arugula. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> and my gosh, you, you have got, so much more than I do. No, I haven't spread mine out yet. Oh. Very well. Okay. okay, so we're putting arugula on. You want arugula on yours? Yeah. And tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yes. And we love slicing our tomatoes thick, 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 thick. And then avocados. If you don't want avocado, don't use it. Oh my gosh, well, I'm getting so busy with this, I forgot about the tofu. Um, and I'm definitely gonna put on, I'm gonna put my tofu, how should I put my tofu? I'm gonna put it on this side and then flip it right over. Here you go. Ooh, okay. Two tofus. Yeah. That's a big, beautiful. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, my avocado slid out. Stay in there. I'm gonna put, actually, I'm gonna put the avocado in a different location because it was sliding. Okay, so if you wanna just grab your sandwich by two hands and go, go for it. I'm gonna uh, slice mine in half because it looks so yummy. I wanna be able to see the inside and show off what's going on inside. Want me to cut yours in half too? Mm -hmm. You show yours. Here, here, you give the edge of the, edge, you, and, and, hold on, give the edge of the plate. It's gonna maybe, complicate things. <laughs> okay, look at my sandwich. Oh, yum. Look at that. Doesn't that look so yummy? I can't wait to see. 
<gasps> Yours with his, has less bread than mine. Open up so Wade can see. Ooh. Okay, geez, the challenge here is getting our mouths around all of this. And, I, and my bun, look at how much more my, my. Oh, you've got a fatter bun than I do. Oh uh, my gosh. Uh, uh, yeah. One, mm, two, two, three. three. Ah. Oh. Mm. Mm. You got me. Even better, the cold from the refrigerator. Mm. What's cold? Well, I took a. My, I can't talk. What, what was cold in the refrigerator? My tofu was warm. I, had, I went in the refrigerator and took some of the leftovers. Oh, oh, this is better than the cold mm. from the refrigerator. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, okay, well, you guys. It's got a really nice taste that just mm, is so satisfying. Well, the smoked gouda goes like all over the. Yeah. Your mouth and nose Ooh. and flavor. Okay, well, we're dying to hear what you put on your. Uh, baked tofu and smoked gouda sandwiches and we hope you enjoy the whole book thank you again so much for your pre-order and I we can't wait to hear more about you you plant-based woman warriors you you are living fierce you are staying bold, bold and you're eating delicious. delicious all right talk to you later at some point bye-bye <laughs>